the, the, the fastest way with, with known physics to get from one place to another on Earth is with an intercont intercontinental ballistic missile. This is, this is why ICBMs with nukes are kind of like the ultimate weapon. Now, in this case, it's sort of delete the nuke, add landing. But it's, it's, it's certainly very feasible. Obviously, if we can take off and transform and land on Mars or the moon, we can take off and land on Earth too. So, so it really comes down to a question of, of is it economically viable compared to long distance aircraft? And I think our, our back of the envelope numbers suggest that it, it actually has a shot at being economically viable for long distance transport on Earth for, for a few reasons. The, the propellant cost is actually quite low, being liquid methane, liquid oxygen, the cost of liquid oxygen is it's primarily liquid oxygen. It's about 77, 78% liquid oxygen by, by mass and roughly 22 or 23% liquid methane. So the propellant cost is quite, it's, the, it's the lowest cost propellant you could possibly get on Earth. And, and then the, the, because the rocket's moving so fast, you, you can use it about, in theory, about 10 times more than you could use an aircraft. So a Starship can go from, let's say, Los Angeles to Sydney or something like that in 20 minutes, basically, maybe half an hour at most. So, you know, whereas I think I think an airliner takes about 14 or 15 hours. So you've got something which is really much faster than an aircraft. And so for an airliner that you can do basically an order of magnitude more trips with Starship than you can with an airliner. Which means that the and, and there's and the, no no pilots are needed. In fact, you can't pilot. This is not only a computer can pilot this because human reaction times are not fast enough. So then you don't have the pilot costs, you don't have the food costs, you don't have the, you, you know, you don't really even need bathrooms if we can get there in half an hour. So it actually would work out that it's it's actually we think lower cost than long distance aircraft. 